afternoon, sisters and brothers. We are the Council for Mission Caribbean Region, mm -hmm. represented by the Guyana Congregational Union and the United Church in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Although we are but two, our reach expands beyond that, as along with our partners in the Caribbean and North America Committee Council and Mission, CANACOM, we extend to the wider regions of the Caribbean, which is French, Dutch, Spanish, and English. CANACOM is in Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Curaçao, Suriname, Cuba, Guyana, and Jamaica. We want to share with you some of what the, our churches are doing in the Caribbean region. We have a few videos that will highlight different aspects of the work of the church. This is our story. The stories I would share from our church uh, are stories from the past four years. A more fulsome sense of what as a church we have been doing uh, we have in a video it's about 20 minutes uh, we're not going to show it here but uh, you can check where we have the booth and if you're interested you can uh, hear that story uh, during the COVID period we uh, were able to bring relief to persons who lost their jobs or suffered significant income reduction or loss. Uh, we gave a hope to a few places. A school canteen, a place school, a daycare. And one of our churches with uh, support from uh, Council for World Mission, this body, uh, they did what they called a daily manor project. Uh, that project started with fitting young people, 75 young people. We did them in batches. They were trained and prepared. And so they did uh, bread. And you would see that, uh, on, uh, you, you see it there. They did that, which then they were able to uh, sell to the shops and the supermarkets in the uh, community. And persons uh, from that project uh, were able to gain employment elsewhere or, or else start their own employment. Uh, we gave support to persons who were doing poultry rearing. There was a young couple. They received that kind of support. And one young person uh, received uh, support with respect to a uh, clothing boutique that uh, she, she did. I uh, want to say something about uh, the mic uh, microcredit scheme that we launched in this period where we gave support to uh, young people who wanted to do uh, business startups. We did it individually and in groups. If it was a single person, I think we gave them about $200,000. If it was a group, they got uh, twice that uh, amount. And so they were able to uh, start, do their businesses and so on. And we intended to be a revolving scheme uh, so that many persons could get uh, help. And uh, it is going pretty okay. Uh, some people have already repaid. Uh, others are still in the process of doing so. Quickly, I want to say that during our MSP uh, program, and strangely, I, 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 I am learning, we did two, three, and four simultaneously. Uh, and through that, we uh, did training for all levels of the church, leaders, ministers, pastors, secretaries, treasurers, uh, children, and we were able to develop a child uh, a policy uh, in that regard. Anybody who's going to work with children in our churches, then they would uh, have to uh, be trained and uh, 
follow the uh, policy. We did stuff for youth, for young adults, for women uh, and men. And in this regard, the women and men came together and they started a literacy uh, project which targeted uh, some children from, from uh, some, well, well, in, in one area, uh, in a, a, a primary school, I think it was. And then we did the seniors club uh, of which my sister Doreen will quickly uh, say a, a few words. So Doreen, can you come and share that idea, uh, that uh, particular project that we did with the seniors? Okay. Who are we? We are the Golden Boys and Girls Elderly Club, which was launched on the 4th of December, 2022. Now, after doing a survey of the, an area on the west bank of Demeraro, it was decided that our seniors were not catered for. They were left out. And so, in order to create a space for them, this facility, this group was launched. And the primary objective of this group, of this group is to create a space and opportunity for individuals 65 years and older from communities between the two flood to potential to engage in social activities, facilitate access to information, and promote best practices for improving the well-being of seniors. Now we have a mission statement, and that mission statement states, to provide opportunities for empowerment of senior citizens, for them to live active, healthy, and fulfilling lives. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, tell you there. Uh, well, you know, always we are going against uh, time. But there are, uh, there are a number of other things. When we were doing some of these things, we thought it was little. But as we look back now, they were really significant in doing, making the interventions we uh, made to uh, help God's people have a sense of this life, life in fullness, you know, and, and building a life-flourishing communities. Thank you. Rise up.